Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob Truth or Square. Man, I just had the scare of a lifetime. <laughs> the freaking Windows update removed my controller drivers, but everything's okay now. So, last time we were on a weenie hunt, but we couldn't quite weed them out. However, the weenies might be in here. Let's, go f let's find out. Five lives. I don't think we need that. One life! How many lives do we need, man? Yeah, man, he's happy to be here. I don't know if I want to upgrade things just yet. I want to figure out this whole Gary thing. Oh, that was apparently Patrick's favorite apple. Oh, multiple apples. Patrick, please. I didn't ask for this. Stop! Oh, okay, he just vomited it back. He vomited one of them back, rather. Oh, I don't think I want that apple. Oh, no, stop, stop, stop! Patrick! Oh, dear, I can't stop him. There's no stopping Patrick once he starts. Guys. How many times do you need to vomit one apple? Okay. Well, we've learned our lesson. Let's not do that again. You are just a bottle that serves no purpose. Still upgrade. Why am I upgrading all these things around my house? Why can't I just accept... Oh, golden spatula. Nice. That's going to be cool to see later. Why can't I just accept satisfaction with how my house is? Okay, the fridge probably doesn't need an upgrade now that I think about it. Yeah, sweet memories of mopping the floor in the kitchen. That made me very happy. No. Wait. Why are these here? I can't break these. Why are you here? Yeah, there's the weenie! We found it! We've weeded him out. Okay, Patrick, we've done this before. Stop. Oh, dear. What? What are these noises? Okay, well that made me pretty happy too, apparently. Why can't I not do anything about these... No, I don't need that from the cabinets. These tiki's, man, I want to do something about them. In any case, I believe... I believe I decided that I'd run off to... Well, wherever was next, next episode. I think I've already done everything with Sandy. Yeah. And I don't have anything with Patrick, I believe. So that means Mr. Krabs. No, I'd rather not. Why is Fry capitalized? I don't, know, I don't think I noticed it the first time I started playing this, but I didn't actually point out that that those are actual show screenshots on that scrapbook there. That was kind of cool. Day glow pants? <laughs> nice. Yeah, are the glasses really a safety item, though? I feel like this is a trick question. This jellyfishing hat. Oh, uh, hey, we're here again. I mean, I guess there's a reason to be, but wait, SpongeBob, why? Okay, there, I expected a justification for being able to do this now, but okay. Usually you unlock abilities instead of just spontaneously having them. Yeah, but isn't that supposed to be at the Krusty Krab, not here? That doesn't seem like a very effective bus. This is how car washes work here in Bikini Bottom, apparently. Wait, what, since when do we say, say car, anyways? Okay, so I need actual, um... Yeah, here we go. I need ammunition. I can't really acknowledge your existence, so okay. Well, in that case... Hi, I've seen you before. Except, I feel immobilized. Oh, because I keep trying to use the wrong attack or something? What is happening here, actually? I cannot move. I don't know if I was messing something up or what. Oh, because I'm digging. Why am I digging? Because I'm sinking is what's happening. That did not appear to me like something I could sink in. That was not how I expected to happen there. So I just sink if I walk into this? Yeah, okay. That's interesting. So I just need to match the jump button while I'm around here. That's fine. 
Could have found you some warning. Is warning is Gary just gonna now tell me about it? No. No, we're just gonna I'm not gonna acknowledge that at all. Okay. Whatever. Hi, oh, you have a nice little Oh, I can't aim up and down. There you go. Bye, Patty. I feel like I overshot that a little bit. Okay, cool. It feels like it would be in a good opportunity. Oh, hey, it's that dude. How many times, old man? But I do feel like this will be a good opportunity to actually come up with like a little mini game. Oh, let's not do that. Can I cancel out of this in some capacity? No, I cannot cancel out of that attack. Nice. Collisions, what are those? Hey, I don't recognize this. I'm trying to figure out what these things are. There's a fish on the top left. I can't tell if that's on the top right. At all, actually. Coral? And then the bottom, that's just serving people. Hmm. I have more things to do over here instead. So I don't need to worry about stopping just yet. Yeah, though, I could have seen this being an interesting little minigame, or at least something else. Not only in the Krusty Krab, but also involving SpongeBob actually doing fry cook things. Instead of just running around for some reason using a new shooting ability to do things. Whatever. Ah! This is around me a little bit of uh, th that Steam stuff from, what was it called? A movie game. There's that ointment again. I'm so tempted to destroy those floating tiki's. Something's really bugging me out about the controls right now. It's been bugging me this whole time I've been playing. Some of these can deflect projectiles. Or some objects, I guess. <laughs> There's no way to actually know which things can or can't. I guess we're not going to give you any kind of prompting to know. That's nice. Alright. Now... It's actually not quite clear the precise place to go right now. I have multiple paths, but I want to make sure I hit the right ones. By that, I guess I mean all of them. But in any case, let's just worry about this first. Um, camera? Aren't you supposed to, like, turn with me? It's interesting. I can pick up coins by shooting them. Okay, fish, you told me enough. Please. Okay. So it seems like the maximum number of things I can hold is 12. That seems a really arbitrary number, but okay. Hooray. I see more floating things that are probably only going to be worth caring about when I actually move on to the next part level now I think about it. Okay. Ah, more warnings. Standardized. Stop that. Why, why is it that all of a sudden sand, very innocent looking sand, and the SpongeBob universe is quicksand. That's not really how that's supposed to work. Okay, well, sure. Jumping didn't quite work out there for some reason. Not really sure what the deal with that was. Hot. Yeah, it's kind of supposed to be. I guess? Actually, wait, no. What are these things supposed to be accomplishing? They're just... Now these things are really touching the bus. Nor do I really know why we're going through the car wash with passengers on board. Oh no, I question the business practices of whoever this is. But I guess SpongeBob might just have a warped idea of how these things work. Okay, so this is what you're supposed to see earlier, I guess. Do I? But I've already seen one of these. This is kind of like in Bikini Bottom where Battle from Bikini Bottom where you Oftentimes, encounter an enemy without an introduction cutscene, and then later see it with an introduction cutscene. Okay, wait a minute. So, I this only really just now occurred to me. We were just having a single person swim and have these things get pushed along. It seems like an odd way of approaching life. I like how down here you just kind of have this for some reason. There we go. This can at least earn back the life that I had. How many lives do we need to be able to earn in this game? I'm questioning what the point of lives is, considering how we're not really 
losing them in any capacity anyways. Isn't that light from the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard up there? Odd thing to notice somewhere. Can you not? I don't know why you take so many hits to destroy. Ah! That was very unfortunate timing. Okay. In any case. Can you not... Yeah, for some reason, in certain situations, the jump button doesn't seem to work. Like, just now I, f I was trying to jump, and you guys don't really have any way of knowing that, because jumping didn't happen. Okay, anyways, we've done all these things again. So how about we progress, instead of worrying about what the world has done to us. Bye, Tiki. Just sitting in one place and pressing buttons occasionally. Oh, I got a little stuck. We're okay. Not really sure what the deal with that was. It's not, it's not jumping. I don't know why it's dropping inputs. I don't know if it's a controller issue or what. Considering. Really? I can't. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to jump after you get knocked back into the air or not. But in any case, that's a little annoying that. This game's attempt to actually save you and let you go back up in a safe place doesn't really work. Because that's the two times in a row that's actually failed to save me. But anyways, as I was saying at the beginning of this episode, I was just about to record this game, and last night, Windows 10 updated. And it, for some reason, it uninstalled my controller driver, so I had to reinstall them just a few minutes ago because I started up the game and found, oh wait, my controller doesn't actually work anymore. And it seems like it's acting a little bit weird now. Seriously? I don't know if, although in this case it might just be that I can't jump while I'm sitting on the corner of that bus for some reason. I haven't noticed problems before with jumping or not jumping when I wanted to. But I do tend to walk when I don't want to walk now, which is weird. So I'll fix that off camera next, before the next episode. Can I stay on this? Yeah. Wait, can I touch these? I didn't think I could touch those. I guess that's part of the problem. If I stand on that, then... Uh, whenever I jump, I start moving more slowly than the bus is moving. It's a little annoying. And not very logical. I wish I could stand on top of that now, though. It would feel cool. I feel like I can jump over there. I'm not going to try, because there's a good chance it'll just sit me back to a checkpoint I don't want to be at. What? More things to press. Ah, oh, man, why is Mr. Krabs have to be so prominent in this game and they couldn't get his voice actor? It's not a very convincing impression. Okay, so this is the point in the game where things get more difficult, supposedly, by just making the exact same enemies happen to have more hit points than before. Okay, so before we run around with power-ups, I think we should figure out what's going on in the level as a whole. Okay, yeah, three hits feels like one too many for these guys. No, bad. So we're using enemies to drop health in SpongeBob games now. It's not usually a thing. No. You don't have a hammer, Spongebob. Oh, I... Yeah, I guess I was supposed to do that to actually unlock the power-up anyways. I was gonna see if the happiness power-up was gonna do anything for me. I still haven't actually figured out what the point of the happiness power ups is now that I think about it. Oh, you know what? Now I think about it. The music that's playing actually isn't a song from another Spongebob game right now. This is, I believe, production music. It's interesting. It's the first time we've actually seen production music used as level music instead of just being used for power-ups. Although I may be wrong. I don't remember anything from last week when I recorded this last time. Yay, lunchbox. Or whatever that is. The game hasn't really told me. Oh, they, they're just saying hungry. Of course. Beautiful. 
Okay, so I'm not really sure what the point of happiness is right now, but I guess instead we can just make actual progress to the level. With other production music. See, now you have a hammer, SpongeBob. Now it's appropriate to say things about hammers, but you're not going to say anything, most likely. Why do I say that? You're always going to say things. Everyone's always saying something in this game. And I guess I'll just get rid of these stickies, and then next episode I will actually progress to the level. Or something like that. Actually, I might as well hit the, hit the buttons now. No, he actually looks the same. I figured he would look somehow different if he was buff while shooting things. I don't know, it doesn't really feel like Spongebob's not doing the work anymore if he's not the one shooting these baddies around into the aisles of individuals. Now we just have machines doing our work. Spongebob's work has been made irrelevant. This is what mechanization of labor does for us. Spongebob is out of a job, basically. This isn't less of a story of how he got a job and more of a story of how it came to an end. The more that I think about it. Anyways. So that'll be that for this episode. Let's play SpongeBob Truth of Square. I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when we, I guess, just progress further past this thing. Hey guys.